Well, if you've ever noticed on the underside of a fern, a lot of bumps that look like they might be insects, you'll be glad to know that those are actually part of the reproduction process of ferns. Ferns reproduce by spores instead of by seeds, and this is just part of that process. Now, if you want to do a really neat project at home, you can try propagating some of your ferns on your own. What you need to look for is underneath, look for these sporangia that have been rowed up here like this, and look for some that are ripe. Now, these aren't ripe because they're, they're green, but if you look here, We've got some that are a darker brown, and that's the indication that these are ready to release their spores. So all you need to do then to collect the spores is to use a piece of paper and make a crease in it so that those will collect in there. And then place that underneath that fern and just tap on the top. Now to help those release onto that paper, you can use a small knife and just gently scrape the underside of the fern and those spores should drop out on the paper. Now you'll just see a very fine dust on there and what you need to do now is take some potting medium. It needs to be sterile and one of the good ones to use is just some peat moss, straight peat moss and have that moistened down really well and then just broadcast those spores across the top of the peat moss. Kind of do that out evenly. And then one of the really important things in fern propagation is to keep this moist. Now I'm going to put a little bit of water around the edge of this container so that my plastic wrap, I'm kind of creating a little greenhouse here, will stick to the top of that and seal down really well. Now it's important to keep the humidity in here as high as possible, pretty much almost 100%. So check this every once in a while, and if you need to add water, mist it with a little bit of distilled water. Now in about a month, you're going to see, if you're successful, you'll see a little bit of green starting to pop up. And you'll notice that there are little flat, kind of leafy looking structures, and that's actually the prothallus. And that's the next stage in the fern's life cycle. Now once you start to see this small, fern leaves emerging, that's when you can transplant this into another pot. Now don't try to transplant each individual fern. Instead, cut like this into fours or cut a small section out of your pot and put that in another pot. Now because these ferns are small, it'll be important to keep the moisture high. So be sure and mist it on a regular basis so they don't dry out. But while this process actually takes a little bit of time, it can be very rewarding to see the whole life cycle of a fern take place. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.